I have loved space my entire life and I actually studied astrophysics in college so I always had this deep fascination with space exploration. Welcome to the Museum of the Moon. I'm a NASA JPL Solar System Ambassador. And what that is is basically an outreach program for volunteers all across the country to speak to the public about NASA's missions and space exploration programs. So then when Apollo 11 wanted to land on the moon, and so we go to libraries and schools and museums and planetariums and anything public as well like star parties or any event that we could organize and just talk to people about space. You read the Quran and you see that God says, you know, He created the heavens and the earth for us to look and for us to understand and for us to learn. So I always loved that and I was like, this is why He created it. And so therefore, let us look at the universe. That's a large enough miracle for us to believe in his existence. God created us with the highest of intellect and, and he made the universe so complex for us to want to learn more, to drive our curiosity. That's what space exploration is. And I understand the uniqueness of the situation. Being able to do a tour and I'm the only Muslim, visibly Muslim, this audience doesn't interact with Muslims a lot. So I know that it's unique and I thought, it's a good cause. It's a good example for the Muslim women in our community, especially the young girls. NASA itself, they want to showcase the role of women in the space exploration programs. So in general, like it is part of our culture, our American culture and our American kind of like history to showcase the women that are working on the front lines along with the men to kind of send people up into space and to discover and to learn more. But the most amazing thing that we could say to ourselves, to our sisters, to our daughters, to our mothers, that by 2024, the first woman will walk on the moon. When I do talk to some of the Muslim kids and the girls especially, I like to tell them I was able to go to college and I was able to study something that was very difficult and even though I was the only girl in a lot of my classes, I was able to do it. And so it's definitely something whether it's astrophysics, whether it's politics, whether it's health or anything, it's definitely something that you can do. So to be able to kind of be an example for those women and those young girls is awesome. And I hope that I can inspire with the little work that I do. I hope that I can inspire young girls to do what they want to do and the things that they really care about.